Hi, I'm Greg. Welcome to Parent Finder. Today we're going to log in and learn about the Family Dashboard page. From the login, we're going to enter our username and our password, and we're going to hit log in. This takes us to our Family Dashboard page. From here, you can learn about your membership right here gives us our username, our membership level, shows us when this membership was created, which email address we use to create the membership, gives you the web address, as you can see we just went screaming right there to the public profile, your web address. It also shows that we've uploaded a flipbook, an ebook, and a PDF profile. And it shows us how to do all kinds of different things within our profile. Edit profile, for instance. Hey, when you become a member, one of the first things you need to do is click on that icon. You're going to get this message. When you've completed your changes, Press Submit for Approval, and that submission goes to your agency. It's kind of like a Save button also. So we click OK, and we notice that we have three columns right here. About Us, About the Child, and Our Letters. About Us, everything to do with your preferences and uh, who you are as a person and as a couple in terms of your faith, uh, gender, education, things of that nature. About the child, child preferences, who you are looking to adopt. The R letters will be covered uh, as we build your profile as a featured member. And all of this information we will go over in detail with you in a separate video. So for now, let's get back to the Family Dashboard page. Anytime that you've edited your profile, it's a good idea to view it as the public would see it to make sure you're happy with those changes. Maybe you've added a photo album. Perhaps you've added videos. Maybe you've entered a new journal entry, uploaded a PDF profile, or perhaps you need to do something like change your password. We create a password for you when you become a member of Parent Finder. And once we've been working together for a while, it may be easier for you to enter a new password that's easier for you to remember. There are a lot of agencies that we work with that go cross state lines and they have a slightly different name to them uh, and there are times when parents join on Parent Finder independently. They jump the gun and they create a profile on Parent Finder before we have an opportunity to introduce them to the site through their agency introduction and they'll pick the wrong agency. So we can change that agency to the correct one using this icon. And that's important because you always want your agency's contact information on your profile page because they keep you safe. They're the ones that you work with to uh, filter out anything that's good or bad um, with people interested in your profile. We want to keep you safe from scams and so it's always important to have your agencies information on your profile. So we talked about the edit profile, we talked about the view our public profile. Photos. When you upload new photos or create a photo album, it happens right here from this icon. Videos. If you want to upload your first video, which we do for you, um, if you want to upload a second one, you're shooting small videos, with your iPhone or Android device, you can always do it here and you can create other video albums right here. You can send internal mail, you can journal, the PDF profile, your agency's information, you can join in forums, buy additional services, and then as I mentioned, change your password and agency information down here. That was a quick tour of the Family Dashboard page. And as I mentioned, we have videos that specifically outline what you can do with each one of these icons. So check back with us if you want to find out more about any of these in detail. 
always remember if you ever have a question with anything to do with Parent Finder, please reach out to us. We're always happy to assist. Thanks and have a great day.